John, welcome back to Australia. Good to see you. And welcome back to the Hunter Valley, the area you grew up, the area you went to school in. And it's nice to have you here on the back porch cooking at the barbecue, which is great. I've got to say, it's nice to be back. You forget, don't you, as, you know, as, a, as somebody who now lives in London, what it's like to stand and look out on the Hunter Valley, the, the vines and the smells and the gum trees, and to light a barbie and cook something decent. And it's, it's, it's good. It's good to be back. I just haven't been having a bit of a think. You love food, I love wine, two hunter guys. Why don't we do a wine together? What, my own wine? Yeah. What, my own wine from the Hunter Valley? Correct. That's going to cost me a lot more lunches, though. <laughs> True. Right. And you're going to have to spend a bit of time here in the valley to work with me to try to work up the wine style that you want. And I want to throw to you to say, look, we make semillon in a particular way, or semillon in a particular way. I'd like you to just think about what style of semillon you want to make, because you can make semillon in a number of different styles. But I can cook. Yes, oh, we know that. But I can't make wine. But all the analytical stuff and the, and the degrees and all that sort of stuff, forget about that. It's all about what you perceive the wine style to be. If we sort of think about that, and my style, my style is definitely egalitarian. So whatever we're gonna make, for me, it has to be available to everybody at any stage. And it's gotta be affordable. And then it's gotta be able to go with a multitude of foods. So it's, it's, it's quite a broad thing, is that possible? So maybe you're sort of in that sort of middle area there, which is a fuller style of semillon, but still with some nice acidity, but not too much acidity. Okay, I'll do your deal. We'll make wine together as long as I can come back and cook your dinner one day. Sounds good to me. Good. Excellent, I like it. And we can plan the whole thing. I can see it now. McGuigan to road, written across the sky. <laughs> I'm getting excited. <laughs> Being a winemaker is something that I've always wanted to do all my life. And every year you want to do it better. What do I do this year to really take my wines to another level. Now the relationship with John has taken us to another level as well. Well what's good about that is that this is a food guy. It's not a guy that just likes a glass of wine. So what we're able to do is we're going to have a wine that matches a whole new range of food. And that's the exciting part. I want people to understand the relationship between food and wine. To do that, you need to understand the process. To understand how to make wine, you also need to understand the culture. And until such time as you get right into the heart, right into the bowels of the winemaking world, can you understand the culture? And I've always wanted to understand great food and great wine and why they work together.